Hello, I'm Stan. Welcome to Is Not Is To Art Studio. Being that this is going to be a three-part video, I don't have the finished sculpture to show you, so I'm making this sketch to give you an idea of my idea, which is a wall sculpture with a frame and some vines and a snail and a couple of butterflies, all made from metal. In this video, I'll make all three bugs. Starting with the shelled gastropod, a.k.a. snail. For his shell, I'm using 1-inch solid bar and 1-inch OD pipe cut at an angle. I think this will make a pretty good snail shell. Not too small, yet not so big that it would require a lot of upkeep. His body is half-inch diameter, solid bar. I'm using some heat here in order to put a gradual bend in him as if he's holding his head up high. He's a proud snail. Then with some grinding and sanding, he's starting to take shape. The shell actually required a lot of grinding. That's okay, I don't mind grinding. It's funny, in welding, sometimes the weld is the main attraction and you don't want to touch it with a grinder. And sometimes you don't want to know there was a weld there. So you grind it smooth. Did I say this was funny? Anyway, now to fit him with tentacles. It's true, snails have eyes on the ends of their tentacles that can be raised and lowered. How cool is that? Now for butterfly number one. Even given the fact butterflies taste with their feet and drink from mud puddles, who doesn't proclaim butterfly every time they see one? It's because they're awesome. Whenever I consider how the monarch can fly from Canada to southern Mexico, I'm just at awe of God's creation. Now mine's not any particular species. I'm just going to make them up as I go. Butterflies are insects. Yes, six legs. And they belong to a group of insects called Lepidoptera, which means scaly wings. You may not think about that when you see one, but it's true. Their wings are covered in thousands of tiny scales, which contribute to the beauty of the butterfly. So I started butterfly number two. He's going to have his wings open. Sometimes they just like to show off. As I mentioned earlier, this complete project is going to be in three videos. In video number two, we will make the habitat for them to live in. In video three, we will do a rust patina, and you don't want to miss that. So this would be a good time to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you will be notified when the next video comes out. Till next time, happy entomology and